cat with Katie and Joe. Katie? Yeah. And Joe. Hi. Grandpa Joe. Grandpa Joe. That's Joe. That's Grandpa, Grandpa Joe. Mm -hmm. Alright guys. Today's okay. discussion is on Mom's feelings for Native American Indians. And Mom. Grandpa's feelings for not Native American Indians. The discussion is on two lips. Oh. Not four lips, two lips. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's on tulips. Such I as want flowers. him to explain on tape where I developed this <laughs> obsession for Native Americans. When you were born, I thought you were an Indian then. <laughs> See, did yeah. I not tell you that story? Mm hmm. Go ahead, say that story. Yeah. Tell him the story. Once upon a time, <laughs> there was a little girl that was born in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. In the 25th of September. 21st. 21st. You guys gotta hurry it up a little bit. Okay, you gotta hurry it up, Dan, the story. Because the batteries don't last forever. Okay. 1948. Right. And in 1949, we left Triple Falls and moved to Detroit Lakes. How does that make me and, an Indian? And, well, you went to the Indian country from the, from the white people. I thought you were gonna tell me that. I was mixed up in the hospital with the Indian ladies. Yeah, you baby. were mixed up in the hospital. <laughs> I got an Indian girl, and the and the other person got my my boy <laughs> that I was supposed to get. I think I need a blood test. Mm. Well, I want you to take one. Well, I need you to take one too. You might find out you're Native American. I am a Native American. I was born here. <laughs> I don't think and you're a Native American. You were born. I'm talking about the real one. Oh. Well, oh, so there's what? a story of the mix-up of my birth. She got her name when she was four years old. Who is this? Ah, uh, Katie. How did she get that name? I always asked her, who are you? And she says, Ah, uh, Katie. <laughs> and that was Ah, uh, Katie from there on. Ah, uh, Katie. Kaka ka Katie, beautiful Katie, you're the only ga 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 girl that I adore. <laughs> See, I told you used to sing that to me. Kaka ka Katie, beautiful Katie, you're oh. the only ga 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 girl that I adore. You're gonna make me cry, Dad. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yes, I'm crying. Nobody sings to me anymore except <laughs> Grandpa. Meg, why don't you sing to me now and then? Katie, you're the. I don't adore girls, first of all. <laughs> nice move. Okay. So tell me about my flower garden. What do you think of it? I think it's nice. Do you? Yeah. What do I need to add? <clears throat> more marigolds. They can get rid of more bugs. What kind of bugs do marigolds not like? <coughs> <coughs> they get rid of all bugs. Really? Mm -hmm. Cut worms too? No. no, but flying and creeping bugs and climbing bugs, they don't like marigolds. So just do it around the border or in yeah. the... in the. put it right around the border <coughs> so they won't come in. In the back and front. Kind of well, aren't they already in the soil? I mean, they yeah. come in from someplace? Well, they fly in. Really? And then yeah. what, they lay their eggs in the yeah. soil? Mm -hmm. No, they lay their eggs on the plants, a lot of them. Look at the aphids, they're all on, on oh, I know they are. Okay. What? Oh, I need I need to get closer. The plant discussion. Okay, so I have black spot on my roses, mm -hmm. which is a fungus. So I need a fungicide? Yeah. Okay. You get that the rose you make a rose fungicide or something. Okay. And you just use one teaspoon of gallon of water. And I need marigolds? For more marigolds for flying insects. Mm -hmm. Get rid of them. Get rid of insects and bugs. And what do I do with cutworms? Put lots of beer out <laughs> in, <laughs> in salt. Cutworms? Those? That's for slugs. No. That's not cutworms. I don't know what you do for cutworms. So he just makes up something. You got to sprinkle uh, some kind of a stuff on the ground. To get Have you tried that diatomaceous earth? Have you seen that advertised? Okay, guys, this is getting a little... Okay. Okay. We need something, a new topic. Okay, well...
Maybe we'll just turn it on later. Yeah, I know. One more topic. When is Grandpa going to come see us again? This is your agreement to your next visit. We will hold you to this by law. This is August 16th, 1999. At 7.32 and 27 seconds p.m. So, when are you going to visit us again? No, that all depends on a lot of things. My wife's health, my health, and my health. wherever you are, you might be in Timbuktu. <laughs> or Not Tim like well, John isn't going to retire next year. He can. He won't, though. Well, I don't know. He might. We love you, Grandpa. Oh, well, thank you. We're going to send you a copy of this tape. <laughs> I enjoyed my visit. It was wonderful. I could to see everybody. And it was nice to see Mitch and Maddie. And go to his baptism. And the baptism was beautiful. So we walked from another member into the family. Yeah. That's about enough. You wish enough, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I have to go 